Hi there, this is Pablo from Salto and in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy Salesforce CPQ data just like it was metadata. So I'm here in one of my orgs where I have a product which is part of the CPQ data model. If I go here to the related tab, I can see that this product is also linked to a price rule and that price rule is also linked to a price condition and a price action. So now let's say that I want to deploy all this data to another Salesforce org just as if it was metadata. So let's see how we can do that with Salto. I'm here in Salto and I'm going to create a deployment from CPQ UAT to production. The direction doesn't matter. It could be from UAT to production, production to sandbox. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to click here on compare and deploy. So now what we see here is all the metadata that is different across these two orgs. So here we can see all the metadata that would be added to CPQ production one, all the metadata that exists in both environments but is different, and metadata that does not exist in production. In this case, I know what I want to deploy, which is just that product, so I'm going to go here and just filter by the product name. Now that I have the product here, I'm just going to click on it, and very quickly I can see the differences between this org and production. So in this org, the description is the best keyword we have, and the license type is perpetual. And as you can see, we have a very nice diff visualization that is going to show you the effect of deploying this metadata to this other Salesforce org. And this is a low code view. So I'm going to go here and select this product for deployment. But remember that the product also had a dependent item. So here under additional dependencies, I can see that this product is also linked to a price rule. So I want to make sure to add that as well. However, we also saw that the price rule had other related items as well. So if I go here, now I can see the details of the price rule itself, and I can see that it also has a dependency to a price action and a price condition. So I'm going to make sure to add those as well. So we can see how easy it is to add dependent data using Salto. So now that I have added all the data that I want to deploy, I'm going to go here and click on preview deployment. Here is where Salto is calculating that there are no dependencies missing and running any checks to make sure that the data can be deployed. After a few seconds, we get a deployment preview, which is basically a final check. We can see here that we're going to create three new data records, a price condition, price action, and a price rule, and a product that already existed in production, but we've made a few changes to it. Now that I'm happy with the changes, I'm going to click deploy. Now Salto knows we are deploying CPQ data and there are CPQ triggers that we can turn off on the CPQ managed package configuration. So this is just a recommended action for you to disable those triggers in case you don't want any logic to run while you do the data load. Assuming I have done that, I can then click deploy and now Salto is deploying that data to my production org. After a few seconds, I can see that the deployment has been successful and now the cool part is I can actually push this change to Git. Just by clicking here the push to Git button, Salto is going to prepare a commit for me with all the details of what I've changed. And if I click here on push, it automatically pushes the commit to my GitHub account. So we can see all the details of that commit have been pre-populated, such as the source environment, target environment, who made the change. And we can see here the new price action, the new price condition, the new price rule, and the changes that we made on that existing product. So as you can see, this is just like dealing with Salesforce metadata, except this is CPQ data. So that's how easy it is to deploy Salesforce CPQ data using Salto.